Hey, this is Jim Ancona, and I'm here with the Boston Crusaders Front Ensemble, and we're going to go through our lot sequence for you. The sequence starts very technical, uh, working on warming up the large muscles, and then you'll see as it goes on, focuses more and more on music and communication and just warming up the brains and minds and getting ready for the show, really. So uh, the first part of the warm-up or the sequence is called mixtape. And really, this exercise is designed to work on each type of four mallet stroke type and get into just basic physical positions we would get into playing the keyboards. And we'll go through it once, loud dynamics to warm up the big muscles, and then we'll go through it again with some dynamics to start getting our brains going. <laughs> finished mixtape and you can see that it's a very physical exercise they've worked on a bunch of stroke types there's a lot of physical choreography they're moving their bodies a lot and that really helps to get their their bodies going their big muscles going now we're going to go do something uh, that's a little bit more focused technically and it's called octave palooza octave palooza is a four mallet octave exercise and these techniques are getting to be more popular uh, in the pageantry activity and the challenge of it is the fact that as we play octaves across the keyboards, the size of the octaves change slightly depending on where you are on the keyboard. So it takes a lot of focus and a lot of practice to be accurate with this exercise. So this is uh, not just a physical exercise, but also a mental exercise. <laughs>
exercises start to sound a little less technical and a little bit more like musical pieces, uh, this next one is called Boston Independent Strokes and it works on all different variations of independent strokes and again a lot more musical uh, focus in this, a lot of dynamic change, a lot of uh, different types of dynamic structures to work on in this piece. So again, the next challenge, not just technically but also musically. piece is really a companion piece to Boston Independent Strokes and that's called Lateralis and it employs a lot of uh, lateral strokes in the marimbas and also uses a, a lot of different uh, orchestration techniques that I use throughout the piece uh, including a lot of vibraphone cascades and just gentler sounds. So now as we go on, we get further away from just pure technical exercises into arrangements of pieces. And the first one is Kaleidoscopio, which is written by Gene Kaczynski, who's a colleague of mine at University of Delaware. And this was arranged by staff member Matt Albano. And this is a really demanding two mallet piece. It isn't your typical linear uh, two mallet exercise, there's a lot of uh, melody and accompaniment just with two mallets and a lot of very complicated uh, time signatures.
So we're going to play our final part of the lot sequence, and that is another great arrangement by Matt Albano of Golden Hour. And one thing to note, uh, when you see this done live, this will be done continuously. There's no interjection or no help from the staff. It's just the members running it, getting their own tempos, cueing each other like a chamber group, and uh, that creates another level of demand and focus for them as well. So this is a golden hour. 